How do you like Australia, Arnold? <laughs> Don't move! It looks like that's an inland taipan. Hey, dumbass! That's the most venomous land snake on Earth! The taipan's venom is 180 times more toxic than a cobra's. A drop the size of a pinhead can kill 1,000 rats. And 44 milligrams of this venom, which the snake injects in a single bite, can kill over 100 Arnold's. Running is useless. The Taipan does not slink away after the first bite like other snakes, but continues with a series of lightning-fast, super-precise attacks to finish off the victim. These 13-millimeter-long fangs just injected a powerful hematoxin into your blood that prevents it from clotting. This leads to internal bleeding. You lose control of your body. Your limbs stop obeying. Breathing becomes difficult, and convulsions begin soon after. Oh, don't worry, Arnold, that's not blood. That's urine. Your muscle cells literally begin to dissolve and leave through your kidneys. Due to this, your urine becomes red. If you don't take an antidote within 30 minutes, then for the next eight hours, during what's left of your worthless life, you will experience hellish pain that will make you beg to be finished off sooner. The first part of the simulation is complete. And one more breath. Well done. You've inhaled exactly 2.5 grams of mercury. You can find as much in two mercury thermometers if you breathe in their evaporated mercury when you inhale, just like you did right now. Or if you fill a small room with thermometers and trample them thoroughly, it will take you around one hour and 250,000 thermometers to breathe in the same dose of mercury and die. This is also mercury, doofhole. If you drink a glass of ordinary mercury, the maximum that can happen is you might get a severely upset stomach and diarrhea. But if the mercury is finely fragmented, you will die in pain. When ingested, tiny droplets form hazardous soluble salts. Your body temperature rises to 40 degrees Celsius. You begin to shiver, and your chest and stomach start ripping apart from pain. Also, don't forget to add extreme salivation, vomiting, and diarrhea to the mix. If we don't bump your stomach immediately, death will come after 10 to 30 excruciatingly painful days. The second part of the simulation, a virus has snuck in somehow. Don't move, Arnold. Do not move. <gasps> Arnold, just look at this. They built a whole metropolis inside of you. They even built a zoo. Let's check out the zoo. Today's Monday, so there's a 50% discount. My God, this is a zoo of pathogenic viruses and bacteria. I admire your interlopers. Spanish flu, plague, Ebola, tuberculosis, swine and bird flu, and a bunch of other rare pathogens all in one place. Look, there's even my favorite, the little studied baronavirus, also known as sad horse disease. It mainly affects horses, cows, rabbits, and other animals. Arnold, I wouldn't put my fingers in the cage if I were you. It's suspected that the infection causes schizophrenia. Arnold, unfortunately, your stomach hurts due to parasites. Look, they're building a highway in your intestines, a water park in your bladder. If they build a data center in your head, you'll most likely kick the bucket because your head is so small. You need to figure out how to expel them from your body. The sooner, the better. If you open all the cells of this Pandora Zoo, most likely it'll help you expel the worms. Come on, Arnold, go ahead. It's better to cough from a couple of days of Ebola than live with these worms inside of you. Congratulations, Arnold, on the heroic exile of the parasites. Are you dreaming of being Spider-Man? That's cool and all, but just don't tell me you want to get bitten by the spider. It's a black widow. The poison of this spider is 15 times stronger than the poison of a rattlesnake. It's good that they don't attack people first or you'd be sorry. Wait, Arnold, 
Did you swallow the spider? The path to the stomach through the esophagus is like a steep water slide with a pool of hydrochloric acid at the bottom, and that acid will easily neutralize the spider's venom. If you wash the spider down with a glass of water, it'll reach the stomach in just two seconds. But without any liquid, its fall will take nine seconds, and it has lots of time to bite you. Get ready! Black Widow Venom contains the neurotoxin alpha latrotoxin. When you're bitten, this neurotoxin attaches to the receptors of nerve cells and causes an influx of calcium there. And this releases hormones that cause convulsions and paralysis. Arnold, you did want superpowers, didn't you? Now your abs can stand even a sledgehammer. And what about a four-hour erection? or eyes that protrude from their sockets. Somehow, I think you look more like a supervillain, Arnold. What is it, Arnie? Do you regret eating the spider? Let's take advantage of the hallucinations and look at some other options. Here's Arnold. He was bitten by a six-eyed sand spider. Its venom causes internal bleeding and tissue necrosis. And there's no antidote. And here's the victim of a bite from the world's most poisonous spider. According to the Guinness Book of Records, the Brazilian wandering spider. Its bite in most cases leads to cardiac arrest. But back to our reality. Fortunately, only 5% of adults die from black widow venom. After 12 to 48 hours of the most terrible torment, the effect of the poison stops. In front of you is Toxorynchitis, the largest mosquito on the planet with a wingspan of 12 centimeters. Don't be afraid, dummy. It doesn't need your blood. This species feeds on the nectar of flowers. Be careful, there are ants in here. And what's this? Did you know that mosquito saliva contains enzymes to anesthetize the victim and drink his blood discreetly? But the females don't need the blood for themselves. They feed babies with it. And yes, only females drink blood, and males feed on flower pollen. Better not breathe. A hungry female will smell the CO2 you exhale from 20 meters, and the menthol gum won't help you. They still find you by the heat of your body. But even a thousand mosquitoes can't suck out all your blood. It'll take a million and a hundred thousand hungry insects. Oh no, Arnold, you disturbed the bullet ant colony. When it bites, a burn is formed on the skin, equal in pain to direct contact with fire. The neurotoxin panerotoxin enters the bloodstream, which attacks the nervous system, paralyzes the limbs, and causes excruciating muscle spasms lasting up to 36 hours. From the bite of a thousand ants, you'll get so much neurotoxin that you'll experience hallucinations and problems with the supply of oxygen to your organs. But but you will survive. In the tribes of South America, in this way, a boy is initiated into a man. Now you're a real man, Arnold. You deserve likes and subscriptions to the channel. Oh, I completely forgot. Mosquitoes carry diseases from sick animals, such as malaria, dengue, and Zika. They're responsible for a million deaths every year. So even one mosquito can kill you. They have the title of the deadliest insects for a reason. Arnie, old buddy, old pal, you're in luck. Doctors have managed to improve your sense of smell by transplanting onto you a dog's nose. Of course, you need to get used to it first. But hey, now you don't even need to use a filter in Snapchat. A dog's sense of smell is a hundred or even a thousand times better than a human's. And a doggy nose can smell a smell at a distance of one kilometer from its source. With a dog nose, you can even determine a person's physiological and emotional state. However, it's better not to fool around with cleaning products. The smells of vinegar, ammonia, and chlorine are especially unpleasant for a dog's nose. Whoopsie daisy, Arnold, I think you better run away. Pretty cool, yeah? Dogs are macrosomes, meaning they actually live in a world of smells. 
For them, their sense of smell is like vision for us. So it's not that bad to have a dog's sense of smell, is it, Arnie? One milliliter of water contains 3.35 times 10 to the 22nd power molecules. A dog's sense of smell can detect among all those molecules a single chosen molecule of a substance. So, with such a nose, you can always find the most delicious pizza. Or pretend to be a psychic and find people for money. Or even get a job as a king's bodyguard. How very original, Arnie. Arnold, you're just a magnet for trouble. Hey, that looks really bad. You need immediate hospitalization. You're not going to make it to the hospital. Your heart could stop. You need an emergency blood transfusion to maintain pressure in your circulatory system. During the Vietnam War, coconut IVs were sometimes used to treat the wounded. Amazingly, coconut water is quite similar to human blood plasma. So what do we have? Cola. Okay, let's get to work. But first, you need to get rid of all the gas. If the gas contained in the drink gets inside your blood vessels, it'll literally tear you apart from the inside. Cola contains sugar, glucose. This is a perfect source of fast energy and allows you to really perk up. It seems to have worked. The cola has taken root in your body. But your appearance has changed just a little, buddy. Even your hair has changed color. But on the other hand, you'll be a most welcome guest at any children's party. With so much caffeine in the cola running through your veins, you only have to sleep once every three days. Now, you have much more time than regular people. After all, even professional athletes drink cola for a quick dose of energy. And you can always get a refill at the nearest supermarket. No, stop, you kamikaze nutball. Just one single Mentos could turn you into a surface-to-air missile. Don't worry, it won't ruin your day. Cola even helps combat mild depression. But to be honest, Arnold, cola in your blood is actually deadly. What could be more wonderful than a summer walk in the park? We don't choose our destiny, it chooses us. Arnold, look out! Wow, looks like someone spilled radioactive waste here. Hey, Arnold, now you can be a superhero. Did you know that Marvel's Wolverine was originally going to be called Badger Man? So in this case, you are Beef Skunk Pecker Man. Cool. This is the first time in history when a superhero has three superpowers. But you're not the only one with superpowers, Arnie. For example, a sword master from Japan, Isa. Sao Machi is able to cut a bullet traveling at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Slavisha Pajkic from Serbia can literally handle 20,000 volts of electricity. And he can also cook food by running electric current through his body. Wim Hof from the Netherlands is able to withstand below zero temperatures for hours and even climb Mount Everest in his underpants. What about you, Arnold? Wow, congratulations! I see you've gained the ability to hammer nails with your skull, build dams, and even breed superflies on your own body. You're alive! I'm so happy! But wait, what's that on your neck? No, you gotta be kidding me! You're actually the first person ever to get bitten by both a vampire and a werewolf at the same time. I'm already wondering just what the heck you're gonna look like. Well, you try to figure out how that's gonna work. I'll tell you an interesting fact. In 1999, 907 Americans took out insurance policies on themselves in case they suddenly turned into werewolves during a full moon. Arnold, looking like that, you'd be discovered a little too quickly. You need to choose a less obvious form. Moreover, back in medieval times, redheads were considered vampires. Ooh, Frankie has already added you to his friend list. That's sweet. He's also assembled from a bunch of random crap, just like you. 
Everyone knows about the ancient animosity that exists between vampires and werewolves. But I would have never guessed that I'd see such a thing in a single body. Oh, so you're getting hungry now. And you need food for two. Go, search for your victim. The perfect victim. Bon appetit, Arnie. Wait, Arnold, where are you? What did you expect? You can't go against the call of the wild. Just remember to clean up after your dog. Way to be a bloodsucker. With your moves, Arnold, you need to start thinking about going vegan. Ooh, I forgot to warn you. A double creature gets a double hunt. You need to put aside your differences, because you've got common enemies now. Prayer ain't gonna help you, buddy. And of course, garlic is deadly to you now, you moron. You're not the first victim of the hunt. In the 16th century, the French Parliament passed a law to exterminate all shapeshifters. As a result, from 1520 to 1630, more than 30,000 people were killed in France who were thought to be werewolves. Lucky you, Arnold. The guys from Greenpeace are always on the lookout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop eating in the store. Those vegetables are GMO, genetically modified organisms. This tomato contains a silkworm gene, and your normal everyday cucumber has a 40% similarity to a human from a genetic standpoint. But don't be afraid. GMO isn't scary, and I know just how to prove it to you. Let's genetically modify you, Arnold. It's illegal to do such experiments on human beings. But in 2018, two genetically modified babies were born in China. They were programmed to have immunity to HIV. Now, we're in the Pentagon's tippity-top secret laboratory. They mainly produce GMO soldiers. CRISPR-Cas9 is a new technology that allows the DNA of one organism to be implanted into the DNA of another. A regular fish was implanted with genes from a bioluminescent jellyfish. Now it's a glowfish. Vegetables are modified for longer storage and better taste. But what about you, Arnold? Do you want to be taller? We can use the Michael Jordan gene. And we'll remove the sweating gene from you so you stop stinking so much. And meet Arnold 2.0. A new life has begun. Without sweat, people will finally sit next to you on the bus, and your neighbor's grandma will stop calling you a short little red-headed virgin. Now she'll just call you a red-headed virgin. Yes, genetic engineering isn't perfect yet, but it is the future. Designer GMO babies are coming soon and it'll be possible to remove the cruelty gene from criminals. It's a new stage of evolution. Sweet dreams, Arnold 2.0. Hey, what's going on? Arnold, did you steal all the syringes from the lab? What, you want to inject yourself with the strawberry gene to smell good and a corgi gene for a perfect butt? Don't do this, Arnold. Stop! Oh, ye gods, what have we done? I was wrong. Genetic engineering is dangerous, not only for the organism, but for the whole city as well. Congratulations, Arnold. You just volunteered for the bulletproof skin test. Wow, you still alive, Superman? So, a successful test. 
Hey, Arnie, mm -hmm. these guys seem pretty happy with the outcome, but they want to up the ante. A grenade launcher fires a grenade from its barrel at a speed of 120 meters per second, and it can pierce 50 centimeters of steel armor. Now we need something more serious. For example, skin made from fullerene. This is the strongest material known to science, an allotrope of carbon, and it's 200 Ooh. times stronger than the strongest steel. Congratulations, Arnie. Your fullerene skin can withstand a rocket-propelled grenade, which, of course, cannot be said about your brain. The shockwave has turned it into jiggly jelly. But luckily, you're in a super-secret lab. That's right, Arnold. Perfect time to get away. After all, now automatic weapons can't hurt you. In fact, you can't be strangled. And even getting hit by a car won't hurt you. But your strength, Arnie, you little wimp, that hasn't changed a bit. But instead, as I can see, now you've got nerves of steel. But the problem is, Arnold, now you have to hide for the rest of your life so that no one knows that you've got super skin. Wait, what? I see, Arnie. You'll do anything for likes. Well, each his own. Anyway, make sure that stubborn streak of yours doesn't go sideways on you. Even Superman has weaknesses. Did you really think no weapon could get through that skin of yours? <laughs> knock, knock, Arnold. Can I come in? Ooh, I see you've decided to create a real tropical paradise for yourself. Don't you think the palm tree from the living room is a bit much? All right, here's some more food, drinks, and new friends. Rubber duckies. Have fun, Arnold. How about some beneficial bubbles? Hydro massage can mimic physical exercise such as squats, pull-ups, and push-ups. When vibrating, the muscle fibers contract, thereby increasing in volume. And in just 30 days, they'll reach their maximum strength and endurance level. You, Arnold, oh, lazy one will definitely like it. Arnold, this is the first time I've seen you so happy. I suggest we continue the experiment. I'm going to lock you in the bath for 30 days, but on one condition. I'm turning off the water and leaving you just the food you have right now. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have eaten so much. If you don't get out of the bath for 30 days, apart from bacterial skin infections and your nails peeling, you'll have two options. Either complete dehydration and the loss of 1.3 gallons of water, or hyperhydration, when your body gets much more water than necessary, and which leads to swelling of the brain. Arnold, you're consuming food and water at an alarming rate. Surprisingly, due to your prolonged immersion in water, your skin will become dry and cracked, and it'll become really easy to get a skin infection in such dirty old water. Just one thing, Arnold, please, don't look at your hand. To spend 30 30 days in a bath sipping cocktails, your skin needs to be more like a seal's. After all, they have 20% more subcutaneous fat than humans, which provides excellent waterproofing and protection. But now as a carrier of intestinal parasites dangerous for humans, you're unlikely to be welcome to such a party. Arnold, you really don't resemble a seal at all and are completely unsuited for aquatic life. But on the other hand, your bathroom is now a paradise for plants. Your palm tree has bloomed. Mushrooms are growing on the ceiling, and it seems that somehow wheat has sprouted from your toilet. You have nothing to eat or drink. No. Please, Arnold, don't tell me you're planning to drink that water. It's full of gunk and microbes in your hair. Yuck. Don't say I didn't warn you, Arnold. There are about 50 different kinds of piranha, of which only a few eat the flesh of living beings. All other species are either vegetarians or eat only carrion. Arnie, guess what piranhas you're going to meet? My smart boy, you're right! Fortunately for Arnie, and to the disappointment of our viewers, in science there has never been recorded even a single case of piranhas attacking and killing a person. Well then, we're gonna have to create such a case. Arnie, jump in! As you can see, you're absolutely uninteresting to them. And what's more, they're even afraid of you. Aggressiveness in piranhas depends on several factors. The first is heat. 
Add temperature, please. Thank you. This hell will drive anyone crazy. During a drought, the water level in the river drops and finding food becomes much more difficult. This leads to a second huge factor, hunger. Starving piranhas are ready to eat even their sick, weak relatives. And where does that leave you, Artie? The third factor that affects their aggressiveness is the need to protect their brood. Mom and dad don't like it when their kids are disturbed. Add a small bloody cut as an appetizer and you, Arnie, are ready to meet the piranhas. The structure of their jaws allows them to tear out large chunks of meat from their prey. Razor sharp teeth, four to five millimeters long, can bite through tendons and even small bones. Arnie, you can forget about your fingers and toes. <laughs> It seems that he's about to be robbed by a homeless bum. Or rather, he could be robbed if this lazy lunkhead at least had some money. Thank God. I was scared he was going to steal my camera. Let's see what's wrong with him. If he would have brushed his teeth even once, he would have definitely noticed he has an ulcer that hasn't healed for several weeks. This is a very alarming signal, and I know what to look for. Cancer. Even the frailest body creates millions of cells every day. But sometimes a bug occurs, a mutant is born, a cell that's different from the others. But it tries to hide this fact as much as it possibly can. If you have a healthy body, your immune system will easily detect this wayward cell. But if your body is engaged in constantly trying to treat itself, then it has no energy left to fight the cancer. Do you want one for yourself, Arnold? Easy. If your parents had cancer, then there's a 10% chance you'll get it too. No? A mutation can also be caused by radiation. For example, visiting the Chernobyl nuclear power plant without protection. Or living for a thousand days on the International Space Station. You could also smoke six cigarettes a day or eat two kilograms of smoked meat for ten years. You won't even have time to blink as this cell will turn into a huge cancerous tumor. Look, the food inside of him can't even get to the stomach. Mutated cells make their way into the bloodstream and then spread throughout the body, into the liver, the lungs, and the brain. It's time to apply poison. Chemotherapy doesn't cure cancer. It kills it. But healthy cells also have to die along with the cancer. Arnold, get out of there! You know, Arnie, one Dr. James Hamlin has shown it's possible not to wash for over five years. Let's do a challenge. The surface of our skin is home to a huge number of bacteria that form what's called the microbiome. It's understood that if you avoid using soap over an extended period of time, your microbiome balance will naturally stabilize. However, if you don't wash for even three days, you'll start to itch. Don't worry. Go get some air. Clearly, after a few days without a shower, you started to stink something awful. Okay, not such a bad idea to buy a bunch of deodorant. The global trend of using fragrances to mask the body's smell first appeared in medieval Europe. At that time, people bathed on average only two times in their entire life, at birth and at death. Yes, the evil odor is gone, but frequent use of deodorants can cause allergies and shortness of breath, and the aluminum salts they use can even lead to the growth of cancer cells. Even in our time in our modern world, there are still people who wash themselves very rarely. In addition to the homeless, there are the residents of the far north, the Eskimos and the Chukchi. Are you feeling like a pile of garbage, Arnold? Permanent non-washing can lead you to a loss of self-esteem. And the kids next door would paint your house with graffiti and tease you about your stankiness. Where are you going, Arnold? Oh, I really hope you don't do anything stupid. After tasting the foods of Asia and Europe, he returned home to try something even more exotic. Get your ass down here and choose what you'll eat first. Come on, Arnold. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. One bite from a baby cobra can kill a three-ton elephant. There's almost no air in its stomach. But when diving, snakes can hold their breath for up to ten hours. Gastric juices will digest it in one and a half to two hours, as if it was a chicken. 
everything that remains will have to go through the anus. Oh, look, it's venom. If it doesn't contact with your blood, it can't harm you. What the hell? Though as soon as it gets into an ulcer or a cut, the venom's effects are instant. Paralysis, convulsions, and after 15 minutes, you're a goner. But only if you don't use an antidote. Okay, who let the frog in? One gram of Philobate's Terribilis venom can kill a whole city worth of people. Should a small animal step on the trail of this frog, the toxin will kill him instantly. Even if you get a small drop of the poison on your skin, boom, you're dead. The frog will pass out 30 seconds after getting into the stomach, and 10 minutes of painful death will be waiting for you. And an antidote for this poison doesn't exist, so you can stop looking. And if a scorpion's poison is added to the philobate's poison, its strength will increase by 12 times. Any last wishes? Do you want the viewers to subscribe and leave a like? I see. Doesn't matter. Thanks for watching. Bye.